So now let's swap these two values in the most easiest way or in one line. So instead of wasting three lines, uh, this is one of the amazing trick which I got from my one of the YouTube subscriber. So what we can simply do is we can specify b equal to a plus b minus a equal to b. And when you run this code, your numbers are swapped. But hold on, what is ex what exactly is doing here? So let's start with basics. So we, we have b equal to, what if I say b equal to a? So now b will get a value of a. But what about b's value? So we are losing the value of b, right? So what we can simply do is we can say a plus b. So what will happen with that? Let's say a plus b minus b. So this will be subtracted and you'll be getting value of a. But again, we are losing value of b, right? So what if we can preserve the value of b in a? So if b's value is going to a and then we are getting the same value which is 6, right? So let's say the value of b is 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0 and the value of a is 5. So b will get value 5. But a will get value of b, initial value, which is 6. So a will be 6. So after swapping, you will be getting values as 6 and 5. Simple. So this, this, this is the most easiest way of assigning the values. So just for your knowledge, so let me give the values. So value of a initially is 5. So we are doing a plus b. The value of b is 6. Then subtraction. Then it will evaluate itself. So the value of b will go to a, which is 6. So it will be 6. But the value of a is already 6, right? So it will not change now. So the value of a will be 6. And the value of b will be, this will be 0. So the value of b will be 5. Cool. So that's the easiest way of swapping off two numbers.